is programming essential for hacking and what are the most important skills to be a good hacker? This is one of the most common questions that I get from my students, therefore I decided to make a full video on it to answer it in details. Please smash that like button if you're enjoying our content. This tells the YouTube algorithm that you're enjoying our content, so it suggests it to more people, it really helps us to grow, and it tells us that you're enjoying our content, which makes us make more videos. So, the main question is, do you need to learn programming to be a good hacker? In my opinion, the short answer is no. I actually know a lot of really good hackers that don't really program, that don't really know programming. See, in my opinion, in order to be a good hacker, you need to have a good understanding of the target system. When you have a good understanding of that system and how it works, you'll be able to identify the failure points test them and exploit them if you discover any vulnerabilities. Yes, you might have to read some error codes and small pieces of code in order to do that. You might need to use some tools to achieve your goal and you might even need to write some codes in order to exploit these vulnerabilities. But all of the code that we're talking about in all of these examples are small pieces of code that are written mostly in high level languages. So they're simply written in languages that seem very similar to English. So you'll be able to read them and understand what they do. And you should pick up these skills and learn how to deal with code as you actually learn hacking. Yes, you're gonna have to use third party tools, so you're not gonna be able to make your own tools and you'll be using other tools. But at the moment, there are so many really good hacking tools and even hackers that know how to program, a lot of the times they use the existing tools because they've been developed under a very long period of time and by really great teams. See, people learn coding in order to build a program to carry out a specific task. But the programmer, which is yourself in this example, if you learn coding, will have to program this program to do whatever task they want. So if you don't know hacking, what are you gonna program your program to do? So learning programming will not make you a hacker, but if you learn programming and you already know hacking or have the hacking skills, then you'll be able to write your own programs, you'll be able to read existing code and maybe discover weaknesses in it, you'll be able to extend existing programs, and even the codes, the simple codes that I spoke about earlier, will make more sense because you actually learned programming now. You'll even be able to understand or have a feeling on where programmers usually make mistakes and test for that. But like I said, learning programming will not teach you hacking. And I know I sound confusing now because I just listed a number of benefits to hackers if they learn programming. But like I said, it's not essential to be a good hacker and you can be a really good hacker without knowing programming. But if you do learn programming, you will become an even better hacker. So you can, you can look at programming as a plugin or as an extra skill that if you learn it and you already have the hacking skills, it'll enhance your skills and it'll make you a better hacker. But you can be a great hacker, you can be here, you're really good and you're amazing and then you learn programming and you're slightly higher and you're slightly better because now you can write your own tools and you can read code and you can e extend existing code. And if programs break and hacking programs break all the time, you'll be able to read why they broke and fix them. Now going back to the skills and the most important skills as a hacker, in my opinion, it really depends on the target system that you want to hack. So if, you're, if you want to learn IoT hacking or network hacking or website hacking, there's different skills that would be essential for whatever type of hacking that you want to learn. But just like programming languages, you don't really need to stress about it at the moment. You can actually go ahead and start learning hacking straight away if you go with a proper curriculum, with a proper course. And I'm not just saying about my courses, any course that you go for, if the course is designed properly, it will teach you whatever skills that you need to learn along with the basic programming skills that you will need. You will not become a programmer, but you will be able to discover vulnerabilities and test weaknesses in systems and exploit them. In my opinion though, networking, basic Linux skills, and basic knowledge on how operating system works is very, very essential. That's why I actually included at the start of all of my courses because I wanna make sure, even if you think you know them, I wanna make sure you know 
the small pieces that I want to point you to because if you don't know them then the whole course will not make sense. I mean networking is so essential because pretty much every device we have these days is connected to a network. Linux basics are very important as well because I use Linux in most of my courses but even if you're not then you will be targeting a lot of Linux computers so Linux basics are very very important and obviously basic operating system skills are important as well because we're going to be using different types of operating systems and testing them and so on. So the conclusion of this is you do not need to learn programming in order to be a good hacker but learning programming will make you an even better hacker. The most important skills for hackers in my opinion are basic networking skills, basic operating system skills, and basic Linux skills. But like I said, you don't need to stress about this because if you do a good course or if you go through a good curriculum, they will cover this within the curriculum and you will learn them as you learn hacking. Now, if you're a programmer or considering to learn programming, then I highly recommend checking out Kite. It's an add-on that you can add to pretty much any IDE or text editor, including Sublime, which is my favorite, and it'll pretty much transform it into an IDE, showing you function signatures, documentation, possible methods, and so on. But the coolest thing about it is it'll study your programming style and use machine learning to auto-complete your code. It's really, really cool. You have to try it to see it for yourself. Just use the links in the description to get it. Kite is sponsoring this video, but I wouldn't recommend it if I didn't like it and didn't use it myself. Now I hope you found this video useful. Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel to stay updated with the latest in cybersecurity.